The UK was plunged into an economic crisis in September 1992 and an expert has claimed the EU was partly to blame for triggering the financial crash. On September 16, 1992, the pound collapsed, forcing the UK to withdraw from Europe's exchange rate mechanism, ERM. The economic crisis, later dubbed Black Wednesday, was partly triggered by comments from the head of Germany's Bundesbank. A government official has claimed in a new book, the events of September 1992 has been documented by the late Jeremy Haywood, who served as the Chancellor's principal private secretary from 1991 to 1997. Although he passed away in October 2018, his wife Suzanne Haywood has recently published a record of his career in the book, What Does Jeremy Think? Jeremy Haywood and the Making of Modern Britain. The book details the cataclysmic effect of comments made by Helmut Schlesinger, the head of Bundesbank, to the press the day before Black Wednesday crippled the UK economy. From the third quarter of 1992, the UK economy started to falter and required Europe to lower its interest rates to help prevent the economy from free-falling. However, Germany's Bundesbank refused, leaving the UK in a difficult position. On September 5, 1992, then-Chancellor Norman Lamont met with European finance ministers in a desperate bid to get Germany to reduce their interest rates but officials refused, arguing they needed to keep rates high to dampen down inflation post-reunification. As a result, sterling continued to weaken. Other European countries were also beginning to waver, including Finland, Sweden and Italy. On September 13, the Italians devalued the lira and Germany agreed to reduce their interest rates slightly. John Major, the Prime Minister at the time, resisted pressures to devalue the pound and instead, favoured realigning all currencies within the ERM, rather than just the lira and sterling. However, this was not something under consideration from other EU members. As a result, government officials were shocked to hear on the evening of September 15 that Mr. Schlesinger had told reporters realigning all currencies would have been the best course of action. The meeting, attended by the Chancellor, Mr. Haywood, the Governor and Deputy Governor of the Bank of England, was interrupted by the news of Mr. Schlesinger's comments.